Hi, welcome, welcome. We are going to be counting a lot. We are going to fill the interior of this house that I already built here. Right here, I have a random wheel for every different room that could possibly be in a house. I also have this random number generator that will determine the number of items in every room. And I also already did the floor plan for the inside of the house. So let's just start with our first room on the first floor on the left side of the house. For the first room, we get family room. I'm going to remove this so we don't have a double room and then we are going to randomize the number of items that we will get i'm kind of afraid 43 i mean for a family room it's good we can have lots of things in there this living room is actually built in a diagonal so i think this is the perfect time to use this tile and for the wall i was thinking we can go for something like that for the wallpaper and then have this kind of feature wall in my head a family room is a place where your family is gonna go to together and talk to each other so i don't think they need a tv here i want to go for something more traditional for the sofa something like this i was thinking to put this kind of thing in the middle of the seat there i guess we can use this rug the darker color maybe this coffee table from parenthood um we have to remember that we're gonna have to put in 43 items one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we still need 33 more 11 12 okay we can actually put in lots of clutter inside this bookcase 13 14 16 17 and i was thinking we can put in this trophy in front of the mantel where was i 17 18 19 20 so this family is just really good they get all of the gold medal 21 22 23 24 i'm going to put in the door now maybe this kind of door okay let's continue counting 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 <laughs> we're just going to fill this wall with pictures 34 35 okay that's enough picture on the wall we still need eight more 37 38 39 okay four more i'm going to move this one right here 40 three more 41 and then we can put some stuff in it 42 okay one more 43 yes our living room is done with 43 items okay i honestly feel like i want to get rid of this and get a curtain for this room what kind of curtain i know this one like from the halloween bag but i feel like this one is suitable for this room so i'm just going to use this one so here is our living room with 43 items you guys can count it if you don't believe me let's go to the next one so the next one is going to be this room right here i was thinking that we can just merge these two rooms into one and figure something out so let's go let's see what room do we get for the next one i hope it's a good one i mean we still have lots of room oh it's actually a bathroom it's actually really really good now on to the number of items okay 10 10 is good for a bathroom i guess it's not too much maybe we can use this one from the city living Sandra and open it up i guess we're going to use you and then for the wallpaper okay we can have 10 items so i already have two for the lighting three four five six seven eight nine ten so here is our bathroom with 10 items inside including the lighting let's see what we get next let's hope it's not a bedroom because it's going to be really weird it's a playroom a playroom is good for the hallway there next is the number of the item 13 okay we are actually so so lucky <laughs> everything is fitting into place we're going to go with this traditional light and this playroom is really really small i'm going to open up this area with this we are going to have lots of toys okay two three 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 four five six not sure if they can walk in there but it's okay seven eight nine ten 11 11 12 okay one more 13 this is actually a perfect place for the playroom so i i'm kind of 
happy so now we're going to do this hallway i'm not sure what it's gonna be let's hope it's not a bedroom let's spin the wheel what do we get for the weird hallway hope it's not a bedroom oh my god it's a bedroom oh my god it's going to be so weird and the number of items is 80 oh my god that's so many items for a bedroom okay i'm gonna start counting so i already did half of the bedroom right here but for some reason my camera didn't record it so i'm just going to count while i redo all of the things that i already did because i cannot redo it from the start it's it's going to be very painful so i'm just going to count it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 21, 53 okay we are at 53 when i realized that i didn't record it so it's okay let's continue 53 i honestly don't know what i'm gonna put in here anymore because i already put everything i need okay 53 i'm going to continue to 80 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 ah uh, 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 74 75 76 77 78 79 one more 80 oh my god 80 is really really Hard. So this is our bedroom <laughs> slash hallway. This is our bedroom and and this room is filled with 80 items. Okay, let's talk for a sec. This house is really really big as you guys can see right here. These are all still empty and we only filled four rooms and I am getting sleepy. So I am going to continue this tomorrow. Bye bye! Okay, I am back and ready to do this challenge. Okay, so we are going to start with the number. I hope we don't get a high number. <gasps> oh my god, we start with 85. 85 is too high. Why? Okay, let's see what room it's going to be. Oh my god, 85 items. It's honestly too much. This is really is an extreme challenge and it's a storage room. We are gonna have lots of junk in this house. Um, I think the storage room is going to be this one. It's only logic, right? Because, oh my god. Okay, so this is our storage room. Let's go. 85. Oh my god, I struggled a lot yesterday because I don't know what I want to put in the room and the items is way too much. I'm not sure how it's going to be today, but I hope we can manage this challenge. I know that there is a shelving from a spa day and also equal lifestyle but where are they okay so i already found it it's actually in here if you got if you just go here you can find all of the crap that you can put in the storage <laughs> and as you guys can see here i already take out some of the items that is considered as storage items so i'm just going to put this in and i honestly think some of them are too big i'm going to size some of them down one two three four five six seven eight nine so my strategy right now is I'm going to end every 10 and I'm going to arrange the stuffs because if not, I'm just gonna be counting and forgetting the number that I have counted and it's just gonna be lots of counting. So I think this is how to do it better. I'm just arranging some of this stuff. I was thinking that we can put the paintings at the back there and then we can have this item here and also the umbrella. Maybe we can have two of this 11 12 13 14 15 16 okay 16 
Seventh. Oh my god, this is really big. 17, 18, 18, 19, 20. Okay, let's arrange. I was thinking that we can stack this on top of each other. We are still at 20 items, you guys. We still need a lot more room. Okay, maybe they can just go here. I was thinking we can stack this on top of each other to create a more room. This challenge really is extreme because it makes me want to cry. Okay, I feel like we can have a couple of this barrel even though I don't know what that is. I'm going to put a couple of stuffs on top of the shelf. This one also I'm going to stack them on top of each other. Okay, let's count again. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25, 26, 27, 28. They can have an urn. <laughs> 29, 30. Okay, we still have 55 to go. That's a lot of stuffs. Um, I don't know whose idea this is. Actually, it's my idea, but I don't know why I do this to myself. Let's just pretend this is like a gas, you know, that you use for cooking. So they just store it here and the urn can go on top of here. Um, we are currently now at 30 and I'm going to continue look for some other stuff. Okay, this box is from Dream Home Decorator is going to save the day. 33, 34, 35, 36. 37 38 39 40 okay so we are going to have a lot of these boxes on top of each other i am quite grateful that this is actually a storage room because can you imagine if this is like a toilet or something what are you going to put in the toilet like what 85 items can you put in a bathroom okay you know when you buy shoe you're gonna collect the boxes this is what that is Okay, I feel like that is nice. Okay, 41, 42, 43, 47, 48. We are gonna have the resistance helmet. 49 and 50. I'm not sure if I counted correctly, so I'm going to check first. I just tie my hair because of the heat. That is this challenge. I am now on serious mode. Well, I obviously didn't count correctly because there's not enough item in here. So I'm going to count again. Um, 41, 42, 43, 43. 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. Now I counted correctly this time. We are now at 50. I can't believe it. We still have 35 left though. Oh my god. I hope after this we get a very low number. So... <laughs> So it will be faster for me to finish because honestly, this is so hard. I don't know who owns this helmet, but uh, that's just what this storage is going to have. Okay, um, I'm sure that some of them are going to be floating. Oh my god. Okay, eh. let's start counting again. 51, 52, and then 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, and then 58, 59, and 60. We still need 20 more items, but we're getting there. I'm just going to put this on the floor, I guess. Something like that. Oh my god, this storage room is so disgusting. I'm going to size this down because it's just too big. Okay, we are now at 60. We are going to count again. This video is gonna be lots of counting. I'm going to go with more of the Dream Home Decorator box. So here we go. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. Um, let's stack this up on top of each other. We still need 50 more items left. Not 50, 15. 50 is too much. Oh my god. The boxes are just going to go on top of each other. That's just how we roll in this challenge. Oh, I was thinking that we are going to put in a uh, lighting after this. So, it's not completely crazy room. Let's hope the sims can enter. I don't know why your sims would enter this place anyway. It's not like there's anything that they can do in here. Oh my god, there's just so many stuffs in here. We were at 70, so we're going to continue. 71, 72, 73, 74, 
79, 80 and then we're going to change the color for this okay we just need um, five more items uh, what what else can we put in here oh my god this room is so full this really looks like a storage okay 81 82 82 83 84 and for the last item 85 we are done with the storage room so this is our storage room filled with 85 items oh my god have you ever built something like this i haven't i have never built anything like this before okay let's continue to this room i hope it's not gonna be ridiculous and i hope we get a smaller number let's see how many items should we put in this room 35 i mean coming down from 85 35 is still okay it's pretty good actually so let's see what what is this room going to be oh nursery oh my god it's going to be so weird to have a nursery in there but i guess we're gonna have to deliver you get it deliver okay nursery okay one two three we can just remove this and change it into a normal door so first we can have more room and second our baby is not totally exposed for the world to see four five six seven eight nine ten okay we are going to arrange this first before we put in 25 more items in this room and the potty can go in the corner because it's quite disgusting i guess I'm going to sell this one and pick another painting. Let's fill this wall with paintings. We are going to have a wall full of bugs. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, let's arrange these bugs on the wall. Okay, I'm going to change two of this painting into another thing later because this family is just obsessed with this bug. Or they want the kids to love bugs. So <laughs> I'm going to replace those two with this beautiful line around the room okay we were at 20 um one two three okay 23 maybe we can have an overlapping rug just to fill this house 23 24 i love this rug i always use this all the time okay i'm just going to remove ah i'm going to remove that one and we can have a couple of these flowers um 21 22 23 24 25 just piles of rugs let's pretend that they are from a one piece of a rag <laughs> or else we will look crazy to have that much rug we still need 10 more items i'm kind of grateful that it's not like crazy numbers but it's still a very high number okay maybe we can shrink the bug and it here okay this is okay is there any empty shelf that i can put stuffs in i guess dream home decorator have a good shelving that we can put stuffs in 26 27 28 29 30 31 then we can put in the clutter oh my god i'm so smart 32 33 34 35 okay we have all of the items that we need maybe i'm going to get rid of all of this bug because they're just crazy okay four of those one two three four okay maybe we can get rid of two more of this or maybe one more so there's three from that one two three oh my god we are done we are done i'm going to get rid of this one in the middle and also this painting and i'm going to make up for it using this light one and a two okay so this is our toddler's room with 35 items um you guys can count it and let me know if i miss anything and the door is totally glitching but it's okay that's our beautiful story okay we still have a lot more room to go i'm going to continue to this one and i was thinking on the second floor i'm going to make it an easy challenge and reduce the number because i'm going crazy so for the next room how many items will we get 32 i'm actually quite happy because the next room is quite big but i'm not sure yet what we are going to get so let's hope we get something that is make that makes sense 
It's a living room! Okay, this is actually a really good one. 32 items for a living room. It's actually a really good one. Um, I was thinking that we can put in a TV since we don't have any yet. Okay, first lighting. I'm just going to steal the lighting from this room. One, okay, this house is very varied in terms of curtains because we have all kinds of curtains and I love this one. Maybe, oh my god, we cannot use that one. Okay, I think we can just use this one. Oh my god, that is a beautiful one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I was thinking that we can do sectional cabinets from the Dream Home Decorator for our TV cabinet right here. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Why is it taller? So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Then we can put in the TV. 15. I'm going to change the color of this cabinet into like an older looking one. I was thinking that we can go for another accent wall right here to make just to make it a little bit different. And then maybe we can go for the sofa first because I don't know what I want to put in. I love this sofa actually. Okay, we can just use this one. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. I'm going to remove this one. 29, 28, 27. What else can we put in here? Maybe lights. 28, 29, 30, 31. One more. Okay, 32. That is a fancy painting. Okay, our living room is done. Now that we are moving to the second floor, I'm going to reduce the limit of the items that we can have in the room to 30. We are changing the hardness level into easy. It's no longer extreme because it's going to take me a whole week. I'm just going to change this into 30 and let's see. 23, see that's a good number. And let's see what room do we get for the Todd, for the, the most left on the second floor. It's going to be a dining room. Well, we actually haven't have a kitchen yet um, and that would be good. Okay, the dining room, then let's start with a table, a long table so we can just get rid of our budget, of our items number. Because we can put in lots of chairs. Um, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I was thinking we can do some centerpiece kind of thing. Since it's almost Christmas, maybe we can use this one. 11, 12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 19, 20. Okay, three more items. 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, so this is done. Let's continue into this room. Let's see what number do we get for this one. Six. What? What? Six is a very low number for items in a room, but it's going to make it very fast for me to do it. Oh! Six is actually a perfect number for gym room, I think. Fitness. Let's see what you have. Two, three, four, five, five, six. Let's arrange. I was thinking this can go here and this can just stay there. And then this can be like a resting area. Um, this is our gym room done with six items inside. Let's continue into this room. Okay, let's see how many items do we get first. Two! Oh my god, what is this? Oh my god, I play god and this is what the sims gave me. No, actually the randomizer gave me. A guest room for two items for a guest room. I guess you're just gonna have a bed and, and a side table. Okay, oh my god, you're just gonna have a bed and light. And it's, it's really weird to have a guest room here. I don't know, the bedroom is just in all of the weird places. I don't know why. Apparently, I forgot to change the scenes. So this is our guest room with two items, just lighting and this Murphy bed. Why I use this bed? I feel like if you put a bed on the hallway like this, it's going to be really weird, but... Oh my god. Ooh, why? Okay, we cannot use this bed because once the bed is open, you cannot even pass through that. So maybe we can just go for a bunk bed for a little bit of privacy maybe i'm going to give them a very nice single bed like this one 
and then instead of using this light i'm going to look for a light that is also acting as a divider so they can have a little bit of privacy i'm really nice right <laughs> imagine having your guests um staying at your home and they just they just sleep on the hallway that's gonna be really bad for you maybe something like that and then they can have this light as a privacy so this is our guest room i don't even want to look at it let's let's just move forward i hope this one is not so bad okay well, how many items five Oh my god, this is what I brought to myself. I I reduced the number into 20. Oh, laundry room. Laundry room is good. Five items should be good enough for laundry, right? I feel like, yeah. Okay, we're just going to turn on the filter for laundry day. And we can just use this light thing. Okay, two. We only have three more items left. Okay, we definitely need this. Oh my god. Who does this? Who has laundry in their hallway? Oh my god. This is just so weird. Okay, one, two, three. And then four. We can only have one more item. What should it be? Okay, maybe having this would be nice. Okay, done. That is it. That room is done. Uh, okay, let's just continue. I don't even want to see it anymore. We are going to do this room now. Let's see how many items do we get. 27! Oh my god, for such a small room. And what is this room going to be? I think we're going to... Kitchen! Oh, another guest room? Another guest room! How many guest room do I have? How many guest room? Oh, wow. I guess our guests are just going to stay in the hallway. But 27 items. Really, Google? That's what your randomizer gave me? 27 items for my guests? I changed my mind. I'm just going to do this room for our guests. So it doesn't really look so weird. Apparently, I already filled this room and I forgot to change the camera for some reason. So I'm just going to count what I already have here. This is our guest room. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we already have 16 items right now. We only need 11 more items. What else can we put in here? 17, 18, 19, 20, 19, 20. What should we put in here? Maybe we can put 7 paintings. <laughs> 21, 22, 23, 24, okay, 1, 2, 3, okay, 27, we are done with this room, okay, let's continue to this room, let's see what we get, um, let's generate the number, 11, okay, 11 sounds good, um, I'm happy, okay, um, we might not have enough room, okay, it's kitchen, okay kitchen for 11 items um i think we can do this i think we can okay we can place 10 items because this one is one i'm going to use this countertop from spa day i don't know why my cheat keeps on turning off if you guys have any idea why you guys can let me know why why is it keep on turning off it actually irritates me um okay and then we can have an end piece here Oh my god, my stomach is growling. Can we even fit that? Can you even go through that door? I'm not sure. Okay, maybe we can just um, put a trash can there. Six. <laughs> this is so squishy. Seven. And then what else can... Oh, we need a sink. Nine. Can they actually prepare there? I'm just going to sell this one in case they cannot prepare there. I don't want to take the risk. Maybe we can go for a better sink. Okay, this one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We still have three more. 11, 12, 13. <gasps> 13? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we still have one more. Maybe just a decor there. Maybe a, a dog. 11 done we are done with our kitchen it honestly is really really squishy but i'm going to play test this after this okay on to the big room i hope this is a i hope we get a master bedroom for this one and a quite decent number of items 12 okay if this is a master bedroom then it should be okay guest room guest room guest room home office okay home office remove okay 12 item for home office i honestly think this is mm, quite nice 
Okay, 12. One, two, three. Um, okay, that's enough light. And then I was thinking the office can face that window. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, we can put some hobby item. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. <gasps> we just have that. Should we get a big, big one like this? Okay, maybe we can have this. Twelve. Okay, so this is done as well. So let's go ahead and furnish our last room up here. I'm really nervous. Nineteen. Nineteen. Nineteen is good. Let's see. Master bedroom. Master bedroom master bedroom <laughs> we don't need library we need a proper bedroom oh my god this is going to be the worst house ever okay you asked for it this is going to be a library with with 19 items <sighs> i was thinking we can use this light as well for the library one two three four okay library you asked for it i'm going to deliver um, I was thinking we can just use this kind of a big, big bookcase just to fill in the room. Five, six, seven, eight. We definitely need comfy chairs. Eleven and nine, ten. We need lights for you to be able to read. Eleven, twelve. So this is our library with twelve items. I am done. I'm going to use this railing on all over the house. For the stairs right here, I'm just going to give them hand railing like this to make sure they don't fall. Where is my door? Why is my door gone? I cannot believe that I already finished this house. Finish doing the interior is really, really a struggle for me. And this challenge doesn't make it any easier. So if you guys want to download this house, it will be available on the gallery under the username Glinella. I will upload both version with the empty interior and with the filled interior. I really, really like the house actually. Um, I never built anything in this style before so I'm kind of happy with it so we are done with the challenge I'm going to put in all of the number of the items that I put in here and also the name of the room so you guys can see the floor plan for this level I'm going to give you guys one two three and then the next level oh my god so much so much empty room it's okay it's still nice i guess and then one two three onto the top floor this is the library i'm going to put in the number of every items that we have in each room so you guys can see and also this is the floor plan from the top So this has been random generator decides my build it was really hard but nevertheless i hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for hanging out with me i hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are and i will see you really really soon bye bye